Okay, hello everyone. We are back here for round two of this modern league. Uh, we are against Bordas. We lost the die roll. Um, and uh, last round we took down blue white control. Uh, we lost game one, but very strong games two and three. All right, so we are on the draw. Opponents mulligan to six. Uh, look, I think this is a keep. In the blind, I think this is a keep. We're on the draw. Uh, we have two cards to see our second land uh, before we miss a land drop. And pretty much all this is weak to is turn one Inquisition. So it looks like Dredge. This is a pretty strong hand against Dredge. All right, so shock in Temple Garden. And pass that turn. Alright, so that's Creeping Chill down. Thankfully it didn't uh, return the new 3 drop. Um, so that's one less that can return that 3 drop from Clagrate. Uh, Silver Smoked Ghoul gets returned when they gain 3 or more life in a turn. So thankfully, uh, the top of their library was sequenced that way, that we're not facing two of them on top of this. Uh, we would like to see a white mana source in the next two turns, though. It's pretty crucial. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so no white mana source here. Hopefully, next turn, uh, we get it, and Daybreak is good enough. Oh, no dredges. No, they, they've got stinkweed dredge in the yard. Right. Okay, well, dredge, but didn't hit anything hugely menacing. No ox in there yet to empty the hand. Um, I guess if they have another cathartic reunion in hand, they might do okay. If not, they're just setting up again for next turn. Smiting helix. Now, they can flash that back and get back these ghouls. Uh, three ghouls from that. Uh, that's going to be pretty good. That is going to be pretty good. So just take that damage. Smiting Helix comes down. We hope Daybreak's good enough if we can cast it. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we brick again. Uh, so that's really bad. I don't. Oh, they don't have white mana. That's why they didn't do that. Okay, that makes sense. All right, let's just throw down Rancor. If and when we get our daybreak, we'll gain more life. We can attack for four damage here as well. Start knocking down their life total to a spot where we can potentially deal with it. Hopefully, they don't have an instant speed um, like merchant there, and we don't get blown out by a narco amoeba. But don't. I don't think we can afford to risk that, and also they might have looked to have done that during their turn. Uh, so cast Life from the Loam, get this City of Brass back so they can tap for White and uh, Smiting Helix. So Smiting Helix will actually deal uh, Drain free, so deal damage to us, and then they gain the life. Just like Lightning Helix, but in black. Is returning Arid Mesa and Triple Forgotten Cape. Okay, that seems weird. Does he not? Unless he's got something else to do. That that does seem weird to me though. Uh, can this fetch white? Do they have a white fetch a white shock land in the deck? Okay, Sacred Foundry. Okay, that makes more sense. Cycle Forgotten Cave, Dredge. Okay, yep. Yeah. There's the creeping chill. They get it all back anyway. All right, so their line makes a lot more sense now. Um, so three goals, three goals. All right, let's uh, see if we hit daybreak, daybreak or bust. All right, that's a bust. Um, we had four draws to see a white mana source, and we didn't. Um, yeah, I'm I'm still keeping that hand any day of the week. Like our opponent did nothing for how many turns? All right, we want our rest in peace. Um. And we probably just cut Core Spirit Dancers. And that will do. Oh, actually, on the play, we might be able to keep a couple and trim on some auras. I might get rid of Spider Umbra and. You know. 
And Griff's Burn? No, we'll keep the Spider Armor. We'll get rid of double Griff's Burn. Okay. Yeah, on, on the play going on, of course, Spirit Dancer is way more reasonable. Um. On the draw, I'm just going to take them out for the Griff's Burn. Or maybe even consider Leyline to protect myself against Thoughtseize. Okie dokie. Would we like to play first? We most certainly would. So we've got double rest in peace. Yeah, I'll keep this. <clears throat> we can get Dried Arbor with our Misty Rainforest. We've got double white. Um, we've got an Aura and Daybreak. This is definitely in... Uh, the strong enough to keep piles. Uh, we lose out hard against Lightning X. That's about it. Alright, we draw Burgle. So even if our Rest in Peace dies here, um, we can rebuild pretty easily. So even if our bogle, uh, dried arbor dies here, we can rebuild on a bogle. <clears throat> now we do have to be careful of nature's claim post board. Um, so if I can like slow roll this daybreak until there's an extra aura on my creature, it's probably worth doing. Uh, here I'm going to just attack for one and play the Bogle post combat with the Cartouche. My opponent um, played the Stomping Ground, their green source tapped, which signals to me that they don't have Nature's Claim in hand. Um, or maybe they're just holding up red mana to burn out the Dried Arbor in response to an aura there. <clears throat> Kartosh giving us that valuable Vigilance blocker there. Let's see if it comes in handy this game. Hopefully it does. <clears throat> Forgotten Cave in tapped. Okay. I guess if that's their land, they don't have any land that comes in untapped. Because turn 3 is where they'd normally try and play something, right? Alright, so we will go Rancor here. Uh, we'll pay for two life on these horizon canopies to get this daybreak out over here and then we'll attack for a lot so attacking for nine <clears throat> yep so our opponent goes to nine we're back up to 21 got a big creature and a rest in peace our opponent will need to deal with um, but oh blast zone well that's uh that's a really annoying card. Um, it's going to get a Bogle. Uh, Alright, we can play that post-combat. Let's just attack with everything as it is. So you still get to deal 2 damage here. Let's uh, post-combat play out our second Rest in Peace, just to put that nail in the coffin. Now our opponent will need to add creatures to the board. Alright, Stinkweed Imp is pretty annoying. Um, let us cycle a canopy and see if we draw another aura. Alright, we draw another aura. Let's go in on uh, Warrior Token here. Hmm... I think I can hold that in hand. Uh, and I forgot to play my land second main. I tried to cancel my um, skip through. But yeah, Razor Edge Thicket should be on the board here. Uh, 
Okay, uh, first strike there, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's cycle this Horizon Canopy first up, see what happens. Alright, we draw a Core Spirit Dancer. Um, I feel like I can just give... Probably first strike over here. Uh, next turn I can call Spirit Dancer, draw off the Sentinel's Eyes. And then I'll just attack for four. I'm going to jump block at least one of them. They've got Vigilance, so... Um, they're of course going to be menacing here. Alright, so he chump blocks one of them. And he fetches, so he's down to two anyway. So now we can Core Spirit Dancer Sentinel's Eyes on the uh, Dried Arbor, get the draw trigger. But we need to draw a land to do that. Otherwise, we can just go wide. No, he needs. That's assuming if he plays one chump blocker. I think we got it. Okay. So, uh, less less confident going in on Core Spirit Dancer post board here. Um, looks, Griff's Burn is really just not going to be that impressive. I think I might just remove them, bring in Ley Line so I don't lose to something stupid um, like a Turn 1 Thought Sees. And then my opponent can't one of smiting helix me maybe that's too narrow but i do have just those like flex slots anyway those four flex slots um all right let's go that maybe it's right maybe it's wrong um i i feel like it's reasonable taking grispoon out for ley line on the draw though on, on game three um yeah I mean, we still have plenty of auras in our deck. We still have 21 one drops and uh, another four two drops. So 25 auras still in the list. Okay, um, so game three. Um, look, we got a daybreak hand. We're going to keep it. It doesn't have a graveyard hate piece, but we, we get a giant bogle. Um, with Daybreak Coroner on it and gain life off of that. Um, and I guess we get a Chump Blocker with from Cartouche as well, which could be relevant. We don't have any way to push damage through or any form of evasiveness here, but it seems good enough. My opponent's Mulligan to 5 anyway. Um, Darkmoor Salvage turn 1, alright, so no Explosive turn 1 play, and no Thought Seize on turn 1 either. Uh, we draw a Spider Umbra, which is nice. So here I'm going to look to play Double White Aura on this next turn, so I can use my Forest to pay for Spider Umbra on turn 3, and then that way the that mana is not lost. But obviously now we can block his Flying Creatures as well once Spider Umbra goes down. Um, so my opponent is going to have to have a pretty good turn here. Which, I mean, the deck is definitely capable of. It's a very powerful deck. Alright, they've put down life from the loam. Uh, that's fine. Alright. Keep. So let's get our Blast Zone happening. Oh, sorry. Blast Zone protection happening with his Hyena Umbra. Put down Cartouche, which makes our Soldier token as well. So, sort of pseudo protection from uh, Blast Zone as well, because we Warrior Token won't die to that. Um, at least we've got the point of damage on the board. Alright, so they dredge three Forgotten Cave, Merchant, and Narco Amoeba. 
Uh, I guess I can just recast Life from the Loam, get Forgotten Cave back, and then dredge it again next turn. That is unless Cathartic Reunion is in, is in their hand, which I think they would have cast last turn if it was. Um, so that's probably not the case. <sighs> Let us see what our opponent does, though. Alright, looks like there is a fetch for a mountain, and uh, they're going to cast out life from the loam, get two lands back, and hold up mountain. So mountain could probably just means another merchant here. Um, so yeah, I think I'm pretty happy uh, just throwing down spider umbra, daybreak, and attacking for a bunch. And we can, we can leave the uh, cartouche in hand in case we need to rebuild after an explosives or something. Or, a, sorry, a um, blast zone. Opponent is at blast zone mana next turn as well, so that's something to be a little bit scared of. Um, there is only, like, one copy of the card, and they normally put it in their sideboard. I uh, see so there you go. Thoughts is. Right there. Read it and weep. They do board in some number of thoughts. It, it, it varies from list to list how many copies they board in. Um, but blast zone, normally it's just a one-off in the sideboard for the deck. Um... Okie dokie. So we got our big 7 power scout. Did I forget to attack with the Vigilance token then? I just think I did. Well, that's a little bit silly of me. Alright, Cathartic Reunion. They'll get to dredge at least 8 here. Um, and they got a second life from the loam. Stinkweed Amp. Nature's Claim in the bin. Blast Zone in the bin. Alright, we need to end this game soon. Or draw a rest in peace. Rest in peace would be really strong here. Get rid of their one blast zone. Uh, so I guess they're gonna cast life from the loan get that back or maybe cast ox and empty their hand I think they want to prioritize blast zone the problem is I could just jam a, a rancor or ethereal armor and trample, trample over the top um, hopefully this one point of damage from the warrior token does not come back to bite us Alright, so they did cast Life from the Loam, getting back Blast Zone, Forgotten Cavern, and City of Brass. We, of course, Brick on our draw, which is just swell. Wait, what? When did I tap that mana? I don't remember tapping that mana. Alright, let's attack. We're getting Blast Zone next turn. We didn't even draw Daybreak or anything um, to give ourselves some assurance to stick that Daybreak Coronet down onto our creature. Um... So pretty much they're just going to cast, play Blood Blast Zone and then crack at instant speed. Um, and then we're going to be in some trouble. Um, pretty frustrating. Alright, they've, they've done the Blast Zone line at... Uh, Probably the silliest time, really, um, because wouldn't you do it during our attacker step, chump block, and then my creature's dead? Um, I don't know why they're giving me a chance to load back up on auras and things like that. Um, seems really odd. They're taking, like, a minute or more per turn at this stage as well, so... Um, it seems odd that you take so long for a turn and then come up with the suboptimal play. Uh, we can't do anything here. We might as well leave this cartouche in hand for now. The only point where it's worse is Daybreak. Okay, I guess we play it. Mm. Uh, I can't really attack. Uh, he's just going to recycle Blast Zone next turn. Um, 
Golden Cave, Dredge something. Yep, double creeping chill, one silver smelt ghoul. Alright. Two 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 ghouls. Um so this is only at the beginning of their end step for the trigger, not at the beginning of our end step. Man, like, even a rest in peace right now would just give me so much room to get back into the game, but I've just started drawing creatures, um, and obviously they're completely worthless at the moment. One in hand post this second blast zone, um... Is okay, but uh, okay. My opponents played City of Brass this turn, so they don't have access to Blast Zone here. I guess they're probably just gonna ox um, and then draw a bunch. All right, or they're just gonna cast Life from the Loam, or maybe they're Life from the Loam and then ox. Mm -mm. Come on, rest in peace. Come on, rest in peace. Holy crap. Oh. This is so frustrating because my opponent's not actually... Like, if, if they were to just ox and dredge 15 into their graveyard, I'd probably lose instantly on the spot and they're not even doing that. They're just <laughs> slowly giving me chances to get back into the game and the top of my library is not allowing for it. Um... Yeah, look, I guess it's the nature of the hand we kept. Um, but e even now, my opponent can still crack this Blast Zone. Uh, if they don't life from the Loam in the same turn, we can still draw Rest in Peace, exile it, um, and rebuild from that point forward. Do they know what this card does? <laughs> Alright, uh, so that's at least an aura worth playing. Um, attack for what should be two free points of damage here hopefully he cracks blast zone to prevent the damage and then second main we can play another bogle load back up on that one i guess they can put a narco amoeba on top of their library if they want to get one back i guess it's Reasonably free value. Oh, they've only got seven cards left in their library. Did they take out a whole bunch of Creeping Chills? We've only seen two of them. Merchant on top. Do I want a Cartouche for the token? 122 life. I'm not that close to dying yet. Let's hold on to it. <coughs> Now I probably need for my opponent to misplay, um, and for me to draw Daybreak Coronet and gain enough. Um, we can't really, we're taking 9-10 damage. Look, I think we just take it, that's fine. Pass. Card cast Stinkweed Imp, okay. <clears throat> I 
Alright, well, the top of our library has not been kind to us this game. Um, so attack for two, vigilance. See, so yes, and what our opponent does. I think they still have merchant in hand. I, I stopped paying attention to whether or not they cast it or not. They haven't cast it. I think they put merchant on top with their uh, Golgari thug trigger. Um, Alright, we are in chump block mode. Opponents only got six cards left in their library, so if we can store them out somehow for long enough um, that they deck themselves, we can win that way. Doing the 200 IQ play of Life from the Loom, get back the Blast Zone. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I uh, look, Life from the Loom, get back Blast Zone. Uh, Alright. Straight in with the activation, we lose two jump blockers and a cartouche. Mm hmm. Them leaving back Stimpweed Imp is good. Dried Arbor down. Take four. Totem Armor here. Okay. Planet needs to discard to. That okay. All right, let's attack for four. Hopefully, it blocks because it will be one less point of power we have to deal with. All right, so now we can block that, and we're taking five. Alright, so we're still alive for another turn. But obviously my opponent can just recycle that Blast Zone line and then we're probably just dead. Um, oh, there's a Creeping Chill anyway, so we're just dead anyway. So they hit their third Creeping Chill after deciding to dredge a Stinkweed Imp. Alright. Hmm. I, I mean, like, we drew a whole bunch of nothing there, like, a whole bunch of nothing. Um, and our opponent, obviously, just was able to go off um, after just hitting their one of Blast Zone in, like, the top 20 cards of their library. Um, look, you can probably mulligan to an extra card than that, like for a rest in peace or something. Um, but look, I, I, I stand by the decision to keep that hand with Daybreak Coroner. I think it was our draws that let us down. We, um... Can I somehow make that bigger? Maybe not. Okay. Well, that's really lame. Um, we drew... What, three extra creatures that we didn't need? Um... And no graveyard hate piece in the top 19 cards of our library. I guess I drew extra cards after we were finished as well. Um, but yeah, we had nine turns and nine draw steps, and we didn't draw a whole lot. Oh, uh, that's going to be it for today's match, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think I could have done different. Um, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for daily Vogels content. Thank you all, and I'll see you next time.